Hey everyone, today I am so excited to finally show you guys my at-home workout routine. This is something that has been literally years <laughs> in the making. This isn't like one person's workout that I follow. This is like a bunch of people. I feel like during quarantine, I've really started honing in on watching all fitness bloggers out there ever. So here are some of my favorite full body workouts as well as some arms and some legs and some stretching afterwards as well. So get excited for that. Today's video is also sponsored by Fabletics, of course. I am one of their ambassadors. I'm a big fan of Fabletics, but we'll get into that a little bit later on in the video, but let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so normally I would say that this is a little excessive, but because of quarantine, I have been feeling very claustrophobic. So I have been watching 4K YouTube videos of just like beautiful nature scenery 24 seven. I've even been falling asleep to it. Um, it's just comforting and it kind of feels like a little bit of a breath of fresh air. I uh, am not going outside. It officially feels like summer outside. It's a little too hot for me. So I'm just going to be working out in my living room. I'm gonna clear out my space and unroll my yoga mat and grab anything that I want to add I want to make it very clear you don't have to use weights in this uh, workout you can just do body weight I personally like a couple of 10 pound weights I grab a couple of two and a half pound weights as well as a resistance band for our first movement, we're simply going to be walking our hands out and holding our body in the plank position for a couple of seconds and then walking our hands back in. That is one set and we are going to be doing 10 of these. This is one of my favorite movements to do at the very beginning of a workout because it is a full body movement. So it does take a lot of effort on your part, but it's nice and slow and it gives you time to kind of get reacquainted with your body and feel the ground beneath you and just kind of get grounded and mentally prepare for the workout that you're about to do. There you go, that is the last of that workout. We're going to go ahead and grab our 10 pound weights and go into a squat, twist, and press. This is one of the hardest workouts I have in the workout that I made for you guys. Um, I like getting the hard ones done and out of the way. It's a lot easier for me mentally. If you like having it last, then you can always do this workout last and watch the rest of the video. This movement is going to target your legs, your glutes, your abs, and your arms. So you are going to run out of breath. It is very important to breathe in when you squat down and breathe out when you press up. You can use your legs a little bit to help direct your twist, but you mostly want to focus your twist in your abdominal area so that you're really getting a workout in your obliques. Another thing to be aware of is to make sure that when you press the weights up, they stay completely over your head and level to your shoulders. We don't want any hunched backs. We don't want any arms way behind our head or in front of our head. We want them even with our ears so that we keep our back and lower back safe. And that is 10, you guys. Congrats. The hard one is done and we're moving on. The next movement we're going to do are shoulder taps. We're simply going to hold our body in the plank position and tap both shoulders. And we're going to go to 20. So that's going to be tap left, tap right. That's one. Tap left, tap right. That's two. Um, this is a lot harder than it looks. The hardest thing you're going to have to focus on is keeping your butt from rocking back and forth. Mine is a little bit, um, and that's normal. So don't be too hard on yourself if it rocks, but if you can try to hold your entire body as still as possible, um, this will be a really hard ab workout for you and you're going to feel it later. So maybe go ahead and take a child's pose break. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, the next thing you're gonna wanna grab is your resistance band. It's not completely necessary if you don't have one. This is just a little extra effort on my part. And I'm taking a little bit of a Chloe break. She had a hard time staying away while I was doing this. My girls are the absolute cutest, but they made this video so hard for me to film. Um, once I got them out of the way, I grabbed a 10 pound weight. You don't have to use a weight, you guys, but if you do want something and you don't have weights, I often use books or um, I'll fill a backpack with stuff that makes it kind of heavy. You're gonna put the weight on your hips and try to make a straight line between your shoulders and your knees. Your knees are going to be hips width apart, maybe even a little wider, and your feet are going to be completely straight from your knee all the way down. If you can, try to focus your weight in your heels and really squeeze your butt on the way up. This is going to be more of a like squeeze at the top, tap the floor, and then hold it at the top again. Um, and yeah, we're gonna do this 20 times. And last one, go ahead and get rid of the resistance band and hold on to the weight or whatever weights you have. This is my favorite kind of crunch and it looks kind of complicated, but it's really not. You're simply going to lay all the way flat back on the floor with the weight above your head and then come to a crunch and set the weight on your feet. This is a great upper ab workout as well as lower ab workout. Um, I personally love doing this and I've seen, I feel like the best results using this workout. Um, again, you don't have to use a weight if you don't want to, you can simply just tap your ankles instead. But um, I do recommend a weight if you have something available. And there we go, last one. I'm really going to go ahead and lean into our lower abdominal by following up with some leg lifts. This is a great lower body workout for your legs, but mostly your lower abdominal, which is that like annoying area on your stomach that never seems to get flat. Um, this is a lot harder if you don't have your hands under your butt. If you want a little bit of a little push of effort, then um, go ahead and put your hands under your butt to give you a little more stamina and stability. We're only going to be doing 10 of these and then moving on to the next abdominal workout, which is going to be toe taps. Um, this is best if your legs are in a 90 degree position. Mine aren't as straight as I would like them to be, but that's okay. You're simply going to tap the outer sides of each foot and you're going to do that 20 times total. Um, so that's going to be tap left, tap right one, tap left, tap right two. Okay, so by the end of this, my abs are usually on fire, and I'm sure your guys' are too, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of a break. I'm just gonna rock my legs back and forth and give my lower back and abs a moment. Okay, so about my outfit, it is of course Fabletics. I'm sure you guys already know I am very obsessed with Fabletics. I wear them all the time. I am also a Fabletics ambassador, which is very exciting for me. Um, in this video, I am wearing the Motion 365 leggings, which is my new current favorite. I wear them all the time. I feel like it's easy for me to move in them and I feel comfortable and everything feels tight, which is nice. If you click the link in my description box, you can get any two bottoms for $24 when joining VIP. And guys, the VIP membership has so many perks. You can get up to 50 50% off retail pricing every day, limited edition collections, and earn points towards free gear, which is super exciting. Here's just a few of my favorites from this past April collection. Um, I've been wearing them nonstop. The neon shorts are my go-to. I'm a big, big, big fan, especially with summer just around the corner. So uh, yeah, click away and happy shopping. Okay guys, go ahead and grab your resistance bands. We're gonna be bringing our focus back to our legs and glutes. Get in a low squat, as low as you can, and we're going to be doing toe taps on either side. It's 10 taps on the left foot, 10 taps on the right foot. 
This is also a lot harder if you have a very thick resistance band, but it is a very great workout even if you don't have a resistance band. So if you don't have one, maybe squat a little bit lower and maybe go to 20 instead of 10. Once you are completely finished with your taps, go ahead and keep the resistance band, but lower it down to your ankles. We're going to be doing some ankle kickbacks with the resistance band. This again, you don't need a resistance band for, but it is more effective if you have one. This is also a lot easier to do if you have something to hold on to. So if you don't have a wall like I do, maybe grab a chair um, or something else that you can have a little bit more stability with. This is a great butt workout. I personally am going with 10 on each leg, but again, if you don't have a resistance band on, I would give yourself a little more credit. You could probably go to 15 or 20, so give yourself a little bit of a challenge and try to do that. Um, once we're done with this workout, we're gonna head into our next one. I love having a little bit of a bookend with my cardio, one at the beginning and one at the end. These are jump squats and these are really hard. So I'm only going to do 10, but if you are up to the challenge, you can do 15, maybe even 20. The goal here, of course, is to squat as low as you can and jump as high as you can, um, but also keep in mind to keep your shoulders back and away from your ears so that your back is protected while you're doing this. Okay, next is my absolute favorite arm workout. Grab weights if you want, but you don't have to. I'm going to simply do 20 small circles in the forward direction. And this is a lot harder than it looks, guys. So give yourselves a little bit of time and extra patience. Once you're done going forward, you're going to do 20 circles backwards, which again is going to burn. Once you hit 20, go ahead and flip your hands and you're going to lift up for 20 counts as well. Flip your hands forward and you're going to do 20 counts again. You're almost there. Go ahead and flip your hands and do 20 pressing down. going to flip your hands and press backwards. And you're done. Congrats. That one is really hard, but man, does it really work. This next one I'm only going to do once. This is a plank position. I'm going to hold it for a full minute, but I'm going to break it in half. For the first 30 seconds, I'm going to be on my hands in this plank position. And then once I hit the 30 mark, I'll drop down to my elbows and hold it again for 30 seconds. I almost always end my workouts with some kind of abdominal movement. This one really targets your lower abdominals and it burns, you guys. I'm only going to be doing this 10 times. And then on your final rep, you're simply going to hold your boat position for 10 full seconds. So that's 10 Mississippi seconds, you guys. Don't speed through it, it's worth it. Now I'm just going to very quickly show you some of my favorite stretches that I like to do after a workout. Child's pose is obviously one of them. A good lunge, never hurt nobody. This is so good for after anything cardio. I also really love pigeon's pose. I feel like it really opens up my hips and allows my legs to really stretch out completely. 
I know quarantine has been rough, you guys. It's been rough for me too, but it is so important to move your bodies. And I know you guys wanted to see this video, so I'm so happy that I got it up for you guys. If you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, um, or maybe a different kind of workout, maybe a yoga routine or a cardio routine, let me know in the comments below. Again, don't forget to click my personal Fabletics link in the description box below. You guys can get lots of discounts and cute clothes for working out and to inspire you for working out. Again, don't forget to click my Fabletics link in the description box below. And uh, yeah, get some cute athletic clothing to inspire you for your workout. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.